Hello everyone and welcome to another unboxing video. Haven't done one of these in a long time. We'd just really like to thank Dylan for sending this stuff out to me. We've been having kind of a deal on and off for the last uh, year, I think it is. Something's just been getting in the way every now and again. I've, I've had stuff going on, he's had stuff going on. And we had stuff at his that he knew I wanted and it's just been kind of put it to one side. And we finally finished the deal. It is basically a box filled with 80s stuff, uh, stuff that I really loved as a kid. Now, as you may or may not be aware, I am clearing out a lot of my collection, but that doesn't mean I'm necessarily gonna stop. If I find some little gems or parts and pieces that I need, I will continue to get those. Hello, Arthur. It would appear that Arthur wants to help <laughs> with the unboxing video. There's nothing for you in the box, mate. There isn't. Nothing at all. No, you're, you're just gonna, it's just gonna sit there, right where the box is gonna go. But hey, that's a sort of thing that cats do, isn't it? Right, I will, uh, if I sit back a little bit, He actually had loads of He-Man bits from his brother-in-law at the time as well, but I just really couldn't afford those as well. So I think he sold, his brother-in-law sold those separately. There were some great pieces there. And now that kind of He-Man's back as well, I imagine they'd be even harder to get really, but... Oh. Let's, uh, well, let's see what we've got inside the box, shall we? First of all, I have got the, uh, the mask vampire box. Uh, this is, it looks like he has jam-packed that filled with the instruction pieces. To pretty much everything we've got there. Oh, just love the mask stuff. They've got a picture of Boulder Hill on the back there. I had Boulder Hill, I had all of these back in the day. Lots of, lots of instruction manuals here. Oh my goodness me, Dylan. I completely forgot just how much was in here. Uh, majority of it is mask. Uh, I've got a few mask figures up on the shelves behind me. I've kind of incorporated them into my Transformers collection. This is the first out of the box. I used to have so many of these as a kid. I used to absolutely adore them. Great condition though, I've still got the stickers and stuff on there as well. We've got a little bit of everything in here. I don't know all of the names of the vehicles. Uh, I know most of the season one vehicles, but then we started getting their kind of duo drivers. Like there was like two of Miles Mayhem and stuff. Um, so I don't really recall all the names of these, but again, yeah, we've got, we've got Simpson on the side there. Love the fact they've got nice rubber wheels there. Really would love a third party to do some kind of mask crossovers with their Transformers. Got. Lovely piece 
of kit. Uh, it's meant to be uh, or something that goes over the top there. Is there meant to be a protective? Yeah, but I'm not sure anyway. But I remember definitely having vampire as a kid as well. Oh, really puts me back onto kind of a nostalgia run with these. Are we going to get mask again? Do you think? Do you think it's ever going to make a comeback? I hope so. I really hope so. Oh my goodness me. This box is endless. It's packed. Every single thing is wrapped individually. Dylan always does an amazing job when he packs stuff up. Too good, if you ask me. <laughs> uh, what do we got here? I think this is Gator. Again, we could do so many repaints. Uh, can't think of the... Uh, Lovely person's name off the top of my head. There's somebody that's doing Transformers repainted into mask vehicles at the moment. Uh, they're doing a sterling job. As you can see, uh, some of these have got more parts than others. But it's the sort of piece you could say, right, I just need this piece and this piece. And if you find like job lots, then you could just pick, oh, this isn't Gator, is it? This is Firecracker. Hey, at least they're both orange, you know, that's, <laughs> that's an easy, easy mistake from the angle. I'm at, I haven't got my, I haven't got my glasses on, so. I normally would wear my glasses, I wear my glasses all the time, it's just when I'm filming, the lights generally just reflect off it and it's more aggro than what it's worth. I can see things close, it's just anything kind of beyond my nose, I can't see. Ah, cool, 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 cool. I believe this is Piranha, which is the uh, bike and sidecar combination. I definitely had these two as a kid as well. I used to have Miles sitting in here. I used to have him sitting in there. And I, I thought he's that kind of guy he likes to be kind of carried around, uh, rather than doing all the dirty work himself, he gets others to do it. So yeah, there's a, again, pretty nice condition. Now the Vamp Mask vehicles and figures, I think are two and a quarter, uh, two and a half uh, inch figures. So uh, if you get the likes of the B25 figures, these vehicles really do make for really nice fodder and things for them. Let's have a look what else have we got in here. I think this is Condor, I think. <laughs> oh, there's uh, two pieces in here, let's, let's have a look. I'll list the real names of everything once we've finished because I, I, I just can't see. Um, yeah, this is Condor. A helicopter that turns into a bike, or a bike that turns into a helicopter. Potato, potato. Pop those on. And we then get a secondary bike then. What's this off then? I don't think this is. Is this mask? I don't recognize the bike, the secondary bike. This was one. I used to adore as a kid. Again, really could do with a crossover. Uh, we've already got some Optimus Primes done in this style of truck. So why not just spray them up and make them look like Rhino? A little bit of sticker wear on this dude. <laughs> but that is all part and parcel. I wonder if Toy Hacks do replacement stickers for Mask. Let's get him in. There we go. There is the mighty Rhino. A little bit of breakage around the front there. I could do with gluing extra pieces on. Oh, and like I said, getting a job lot of parts. I think that would do 
an absolute treat. I think this is Raven, I think. Looks like it. One of my favorite ones as a kid. Love the fact that I was a big fan of Back to the Future and this just used to remind me of those flipping out wheels. Yeah, they used to just uh, flip on the underside and then the uh, front used to flip as well. Oh, no, it's not gonna flip for me. There we go. Front used to flip, and then we had the back section come up. We've got a couple of doors to go on there. That was kind of what we what we had back in the day. We've got seat belts, obviously for safety, and we had the uh, sections that could come out on the wheels. Oh, this one's a little bit loose, isn't it? But yeah. I absolutely adore that as a kid because it's got the uh, blade section on the front here as well. So the blade piece can come out like a cunning saw. There was so much fun to be had. But, oh, here we go. We've got a baggy field with figures and the missile for Rhino. Get all of these out. I want to say this is Stiletto. One I never had as a kid. Just couldn't really find it. I used to get a lot of my, a lot of my mask vehicles from car boot sales or kind of like uh, flea marts. I guess. And uh, yeah, I never really used to find these guys, but uh, how is that meant to stay? I'm not sure. But yeah, that's, uh, I think it's Vanessa that drives that, isn't it? Again, just the odd piece here and there missing, but get a nice junker pile. And I think I could uh, complete a lot of these. I think this is Switchblade, I believe. I just sin. You can tell they never come from. Uh... Oh, I dropped, dropped the missiles and dropped in the cockpit. It's all going Pete's on. They never come from. A collection uh, that was that's basically it was a kid's uh, from the eighties. Uh, look at a sticker. Look at that. Look at the sticker on there. It's the sort of one we used to get with like um, pogs and stuff like that as well. Right, I think I think uh, that's it for mask Let's have a look. we've got a few more a few more boxes here we've got the uh, piranha box that would have helped me wouldn't it oh got a, a gobot box here's that I don't even remember there being a gobot it says we've got a uh, robo machine uh, mustang ace so we shall see how he looks I didn't even remember having that. Ah, oh, there's the instructions for you. So that's Vanessa's sporty Nissan 300ZX uh, was actually called Manta. So I apologize. Uh, we've got the Iguana with a little four by four. We've got Buzzard, which is uh, Miles's uh, race car. Uh, so you know, it wasn't hugely off. Yeah, I was. It was bad. I was really off. <laughs> There's the uh, box for Buzzard. Now we've got the uh, box for Raven. And we've got the box here for Manta. 
as well. So I've got lots of, lots of funky pieces. Now the next bundle of stuff in here. Uh, is again, something I absolutely used to adore as a kid. We used to have a, a shop near us called uh, Simpsons, Simpsons Toy Store in Stone Market. And they used to do all of the uh, cool toys and they used to get one when I'd been really good. Now a lot of this is junk stuff uh, for me to build up and uh, finish by building job lots and parts. But obviously that was all reflected in the price, but this is uh, this is a junker shell of the Thunder Tank uh, from the original selection of Thundercats. Some really amazing toys in the Thundercats line. I had um, my favourites were the Berserkers. I love the Berserkers. Uh, Hammerhand was a great figure. Uh, what have we got here? We've got a really nice clean version of Lion-O. Let's see if we can get him in. Look at that, really nice clean version with... <laughs> Let's see if we can uh, just get the arm so it sits straight. There we go. Nice version of him. Uh, mine actually had a red nose because the paint had just worn off. It was there uh, from me fighting him with Mumra. I used to get those little plugs that go in the back and they had the lights that light them up. Uh, this one here is one of the burbles from the plant Robert. Again, really nice. Really nice clean piece. Now I know Companies like Super 7 and Mattel and that have done reissues of the Thundercats. But I really liked the Bandai one because Bandai was 7 inch and that really kind of scaled with what I had as a kid. Uh, we have Chitara there, again, really nice and clean and she would hold her staff. Really good looking version as well. A little bit of paint wear on the hands, but you know, I think that's, I think that's more than acceptable. Uh, they did a cat's layer in this scale as well, didn't they? Oh, I never actually had this version uh, of, of Mumra the Ever Living. Glorious figure, but I never had his mummified kind of tomb thing. And he is the only human on Thundera. Uh, the rest were all kind of aliens that came and settled there. He's left, been left there and he's the last human. So at least that's what's, that's what's implied anyway. Got another uh, version of Mumra here. This is uh, in his full ancient spirits of evil version. Uh, this one's got a couple of the odd stickers sprued over him. What have we got here? We've got a sticker placement over the head there. Look at that. And we've got the position there where you put the light. I could do with a little bit of a clean up, but again, paint wise, everything seems to be in order. I love the tiger mold as a kid. Uh, I preferred Bengali. I had Bengali and the Hammer of Thundera. There we have, there we have Tiger. A little bit of uh, uh, fading. Yeah, a lot of fading. That's yeah, kind of blues gone to the, the green and stuff there. But 
It always reminds me of a kind of granddad. If you look at it, he's got the this hair that goes round. If you ignore the top piece, imagine that with his head. And then you've got this hair that goes around. It's got like a little bit of a <laughs> granddad haircut, doesn't he? But again, though, another lovely, just a lot of nostalgia vibes coming from this lot. A lot of you might say, um, there's some bargains, some great pieces. Some of you may look at it and think, what a load of junk. And this is stuff like this that I love looking through because it gives you, uh, like when you go to the toy conventions and stuff, it gives you something to look for in the boxes, gives you uh, the ability to rummage. And Arthur's back. <laughs> we have Wily Cat and Wily Kit. Great uh, little pieces. I had those originally, you get those with uh, hoverboards which uh, there is a lot of... <laughs> Somebody wants some uh, camera time, don't they? Uh, got all of the accessories in here. Uh, a bit like Mumra's uh, helmet. Uh, we've got his staff. We've got uh, the keys that you plug in to the back to add lights to them. Live. Uh, his arm has popped off in transit, so let's see if we can get that back on. There we go. Uh, can you not eat the toys, please? Again, really clean looking version of him. Next to nowhere on him whatsoever. <laughs> and And last, but by no means least, my last little piece of the puzzle. Uh, was it? I can never remember what this was called. This is called the Sky Claw. It's one of Panthro's little projects, wasn't it? Oh, I remember I used to have Groon, the Destroyer, or and people like that. Uh, used to have the Fist Pounder. I used to have. Uh, Monkeyan uh, driving the fist pounder. That was a fantastic piece of kit, wasn't it? Oh. There we go. And these would come in and come in like so. We then kind of fly this piece in and they'd come down. You'd push those, they'd grab your figure and you'd lift your figure up again just missing the odd piece needs a kind of wipe over uh, it's more kind of restoration than anything else but i've got some really funky pieces here i got them for a really good price really happy happy just to have like the figures uh, as well i uh, had used to have people like jaga um the berserkers as well I really need to get the berserkers again hammerhand uh rambam uh Top spin people like that. I think they were the names. I could be completely wrong. I could be remembering it completely wrong. But yep, this is my um, little unboxing. Uh, me and Dylan have had this going for a long time and we finally got around to it. Uh, I'm not disappointed at all. I've got some really cracking pieces here. Yeah, there's some junkers in there, but that's stuff for me to work on. That's stuff that I knew was coming. And I knew that maybe uh, if you go to these toy conventions, you think, oh, if I get a Thunder Tank with uh, kind of like the left claw or the treads, etc., you then buy those and you can then make some really decent sets out of what we have. Thank you all for spending the time at uh, helping me unbox all of this stuff. <laughs> so much to tidy up now. It's made such a mess on the table. But uh, where am I going to put it for now? I need to make an 80s shelf. I'm going to make an 80s shelf. Um, I'm clearing up all these Transformers at the bottom here. All of the movie-verse are kind of going. I'm keeping the odd one here and there. Most of the Power Ranger stuff is going uh, like the uh, Geoja and stuff. It's just something I don't really connect with as well as I should. Um, so I'm going to start uh, spreading out so I can actually enjoy 
what I've got. Rather than having all of my masterpiece figures kind of shoved into one little tiny space, I can spread them out and actually enjoy what figures we have. I've still got to really get a few figures like uh, soon to get Bad Cubes Huff. I still need to get the Takara version of RC. Once I get the Takara version, I'll get rid of my uh, Fans Toys version. I just think the Takara one, in my opinion, looks better. So if anybody in the UK wants to swap for the Takara for the Fans Toys, let me know. Uh, but yep, I'll make space for an 80s shelf as well. And until next time, for myself and the rest of the Collectibles household, thank you very much, Dylan. Thank you all for watching, and goodbye.